Welcome back to the Swing Clinic, and I stand here with a special guest, a good friend of mine, Brian Pavlet, long drive champion and one of the ambassadors here at Verado. Thanks for joining me, man. Hi, it's great to be out here. Talk a little bit about Verado. I mean, obviously, we're standing in a new practice facility, new golf course. Tell me about it. Well, Verado has been around for about 12 years. It's a totally master plan community where they're trying to bring everything back to like old time, you know, communities, sure. Main Street parks. Uh, it's just a great facility, hiking trails. Yeah. And now we're at Victory at Verado, which is going to open at the end of the year, 2016, and another Tom Lehman golf course yeah. to. You know, challenge everybody out here. And of course, we stand on this 18th tee. 18th tee. Carries about 250 from back here, and there's only one guy, Verado, can do that, so we bring him on the air. Right? There you go. There All right, let's go. talk about it. You're, you're World Loft, uh, Long Drive champion. We won't tell him what year that was. No, don't. A few years yeah. ago. Uh, but he's been doing this for 20 plus years, and a uh, guy knows how to hit it a long way, so why not pick his brain and uh, let's go at it, man. Show me a little bit about how you set up to it first, Brian. When you're okay. getting ready, to set up to a golf ball and you just want to kill it. You know, it's time to hit it long. Tell me what you see and what you like to do. One of the pro problems I see is people send it, tend to set up to the ball. Right. You know, we have to pick a target. Right. So set up from behind, pick your target that you're going to swing at. So that way we can accelerate through the shot and to our target. Okay. When you go and set up to it, keep your target in mind, set your body from there to the target. Make sure we accelerate through the shot, tilt in the shoulders, and then again, speed all the way through to the target. Don't swing that yet. I want to show them right here. See his shoulders right here, how you got the lower shoulder higher or lower than the right shoulder, back shoulders higher or front shoulders higher. And what that does is it helps Brian hit up on the golf ball here for him to be able to launch it at the right trajectory, right? Absolutely. And it allows me to turn behind the ball as well. So yep. now I can really accelerate through. Perfect. Perfect. Let one fly. Yeah, that's kind of far. But what I saw right there, Brian, is, is again, Instead of focusing on you hitting that golf ball, I saw you swing the golf club out at your target, huh? Absolutely. Again, we have to accelerate through. The yep. ball is not the target. So your focus is out here, something my fake focus, out there. Yeah, my focus is I picked a rock on okay. the other side of the fairway that I'm going to try to hit. OK, hit us another one. All right. So again. so again, start from behind it. Make sure that the club face is towards your target. Adjust the body back, and then accelerate through. Perfect. Now, again, what I see with YouTube, that was killed, huh? What I see, it's well, going to land. land. Let it land. Hold here. on. There we go. There we go. Okay. <laughs> so what I see with you, though, there is, too, is that you don't look like you're trying to hit the golf ball at all. You're just making a golf swing out to that target like you're talking about, and the ball's almost just getting in the way. Absolutely. I mean, it's almost that you're not c concentrating on the ball. Yeah. It's your target. You have to focus on that. And that's important. You know, if you want to create speed, like you talk about all the time, you want to create speed, the speed doesn't stop at the golf ball, does it? it? It has to go through the golf ball. You know, it's that whole hitting zone, a foot behind and a foot through. That's where the speed has to go. Unfortunately, when people focus on the ball, the speed's behind. For sure, for sure. All right, well, if you want to have this guy, come to one of your events, golf outings, whatever. Go to pavlet.com. Is that right? That's Pavlet your website. Uh, B Pavlet, uh, at B Pavlet for, for Twitter. And when you go to events and stuff, you know, what do you typically do? When you go as, as uh, one of the special guests at the events, what do you do? You know, I'm typically, you know, I'll do an exhibition either before or after play, I'll be out on a hole entertaining the groups and spending time with each group as the day goes on. Yep. You know, you got me for the whole day, break stuff, hit balls far, have a good time. And I like that right there. You know, just make the joy <laughs> the day enjoyable. Well, you have to be excited about what's going on at Verado, too. Oh, it's just fantastic. A, just an absolutely beautiful place. Thanks for taking no, the time. No, it's a pleasure. Thank you for having me. Enjoying us. Thanks to uh, Verado, number one, an absolutely beautiful place uh, here to host our first uh, swing clinic of the year. Uh, thanks to the Cleveland Indians and Corey, Corey Kluber and this guy right here for showing us how far you can sail a golf ball if you set up to it right. Absolutely. Uh, all right, and thank you for joining us this week on The Swing Clinic.